what can we expect in that first game? Is it going to be the biggest test in the group stage for England? I think they'll both go through. Um, I think it will be the biggest test of the group. Uh, the first game is always a difficult game because it's you know you've got a, it's expectation in both countries, it's nerves. Uh, you need to get that first win under your belt, so both teams will obviously be, be battling for that. I think what the, what England will get with the, with the states is that they they know now they'll be very well organised. Uh, they'll be highly committed. Uh, the one thing that's always been the question mark over the states is whether they can put the ball in the back of the net, which is obviously the key at the highest level. I think the US will probably go 4-5-1. I don't think that'll be a shock to anybody, but I know they'll try and hit teams on the break. And of course, with Landon Donovan playing underneath Altidori, then uh, they know they've got some breakaway speed. So it's not going to be the easiest game in the world. Can they perhaps cause an upset like they did in the Confederations Cup when they beat Spain? Well, it's football, so the answer is of course they can. But uh, obviously, with my England uh, three lines on my chest, I'm, I'm hoping that that doesn't happen. Do you think soccer or football uh, is is getting more traction now amongst American sports fans? Is it is it becoming more popular? Um, it is becoming more popular because of television, because of radio, um, you know, because of Fox Soccer Channel, you know, Sky are, are obviously transmitting the games. Um, I, I think it's just the, the way that the game impacts society insofar as it's who, who it aims at. It aims at sort of middle America. There's a lot of dollars to, to be spent in middle America and therefore advertisers, you know, are, are quick to pick up on that. So. Uh, the, the one, the, the, the glaring thing is obviously the, the salaries. Some 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 guys are on ten thousand dollars a year. Some guys are on, you know, six million. So there's there's a, a, a massive uh, gap there. Um, can they compete with NBA, NFL, uh, um, the uh, Major League Baseball? Not yet, no, because it does siphon off some of the greatest athletes. I mean, why wouldn't you sign for a forty million dollar contract rather than uh, you know fifty thousand uh, dollars? So. That's, that needs to be addressed. Whether that will be addressed in my lifetime, I don't know. But uh, it's, it's, it's interesting over there to see how it's grown. It's, it's, it, they've, they've got a tremendous base there, and uh, so it's, it's strong. With Beckham coming to Milan and Landon Donovan going to Everton, there's an increasing amount of these loan moves mm. going on. How, how is that viewed uh, in the league over there? Do, do, do the players come back stronger? Oh, absolutely. I, I think that um, you know the, the league has sold players uh, to Scandinavian teams, to Dutch teams, to English teams. Clint Dempsey, uh, one of our old players, is at Fulham, doing a fantastic job there. You know, the amount of money that he's generated. You know, when you're walking around the stores in, uh, in the States and you see, you know, Soccer moms, as they call them over there, wearing David Beckham's shirt. This, you know, it's obviously made a tremendous impact. Do you think that legacy will last though when he when he leaves the states? Yeah, I definitely do. The league's growing. Um, Forty, fifty million dollars now to get to buy a franchise. Uh, the league's very healthy. Expansion coming in next year. Portland are coming in. Uh, Vancouver are coming in, and people seem to be uh, you know, lining up to invest in it. So that's uh, that's a healthy state of affairs over there for American football.